Even if I can watch a hundred things, I still will never know exactly how the fuck they did that. It's amazing. See, fuck CGI. This is how you do effects. And they didn't have a big fucky budget. Avatar, I haven't seen it. But you know what? Special effects, I don't give a fuck. You need to take a page from fucking John Carpenter and Rob Bokeem. Those effects are amazing. And I, I, I was... When I first saw it on VHS, I rewound the fucker three times on each of those scenes to rewatch them again. But yeah, I mean, the dog sequence, and, and he had like the weird thing with the flower. Remember the flower that goes after Keith David and he shoots the blow, the flamethrower? And also be like, why the fuck would you have a flamethrower up there? But it's to, you know, if they're digging. They want to get rid of snow. That's a hell of a way to do it instead of shoveling the shit. I, I love to have that in my backyard. Hmm, you know what? I don't want to fuck shoveling. Let me get a fucking flame door. <laughs> Great fucking, you know, driveway's done. Like Michael Keane, when he does his Winterland vlog. Imagine if he had a flamethrower. Fuck this ice. Shh, shh, shh. Ice, no fucking ice. They are... <laughs> Fuck that, you'd be arrested. But I'm just saying, if, if it were in civilization, if we were permitted to have flamethrowers and not looked upon with a frown, you could go, fuck, tch, tch, with the fucking flamethrower, no ice, no snow, no nothing. Fuck the snow. You know, but that flower that goes after Keith David, if you look closely, that's a bunch of dog tons. Like, the flower thing, it's like you see these, it's rows of teeth. It's like dog tons, and then like dog ten with a row of teeth, dog ten with a row of teeth, and it's like that weird flower thing. It's like wow, that's neat. And like you know, it just and like the first time they did the thing with the paddles, they they have this green shit, and they like smells powerful. And it the first time they did it, like blew up. And what I'm getting is like Rob Bolton, he was so he. I remember John Carpenter said that he was chemically fueled, you know, aka drugs, to help, you know. It's like, that would make sense. A guy taking drugs is the only person who could have done these effects. And this imagery. A guy taking drugs now, it makes sense. But, uh, bravo, Rob Bottin. What is that guy doing nowadays? I know he did that and Total Recall. And what, what is Rob Bottin doing nowadays? I have no idea. What's the last film he's done? Is he still working? Like, Rob Bottin, where are you? I, I want to look that up sometime. But, what more can I say? I mean, the ending, I know a lot of people get... It's a depressing ending, but what I like about it is that it isn't forefront with, oh, let's just kill them. Boom, they're dead, end the movie. It's like, you know that they're dead. And the fact that they've blown up their shit, one of them could be the thing, or both of them could be the thing, or both of them could be human. You don't know. It's that question mark. Why don't we wait around and see what happens next, you know? And that great music pumps up, and... But you could look at it any way. And in fact, even if you're optimistic, you could say they survived, because they made sequels in kind of a book form. You know, that... They were go huffing in. There's like a there's a submarine, you know, the navy and stuff, and you know they got lucky and you know there were sequels and kind of forms to this. In fact, there was talk of John Carpenter one time wanting to do a sequel, but no one was really behind it. No one wanted to give him the money for it. And yes, I know there's a prequel. I remember one time I bitched about it and I got something jagged off. He said he was like the writer or something of the theme prequel. Now, of course, I could fucking email, or I should say PM. I could PM Mike OCP and say, I could create another account, email Mike OCP and go, uh, what's a movie he really hated? Uh, the Dark Knight. I could go, uh, I was, a, I was an assistant DA... Or, I was, you know, I was assistant director on The Dark Knight. Fuck you for not liking it that much, you know. Or, you know, I could... Bullshit, you could say bullshit, but... I wish, I hope it was. It'd be great if it was the writer. 
it'd be great because he's like whoever it was was like ah oh, you don't know what I'm going to be doing and, and who are you to talk and I'm like you're doing a prequel to the thing about Norwegians that no one gives a shit about <coughs> sorry there's something in my nose bile that's what's in my nose this bile for this fucking bullshit prequel of Norwegians that we don't give a fuck we know the ending we know how it's going to end and then they have these all these Americans and wait why are you casting all these Americans are they going to what be fucking Norwegian accents just, I don't remember them finding any Americans, and there weren't even that many people on the fucking Norwegian base. There was a guy who slit his wrist and the wrist, and the throat and the blood, and then the two people went after the dog, and maybe two, three more. I mean, who gives a fuck? It's gonna be CGI bullshit. That's not gonna work. It's just stupid. But you know, can't do anything about it. Can't fight City Hall. But going to this film. What more can I say about the thing? Great score by Ennio Morricone. Excellent direction. Great cast. Solid paranoia and suspense. Awesome special effects. A great ending that leaves a question mark that you can fill in the blanks yourself of what happens. It doesn't insult your intelligence and lead you by the fucking hand like a four-year-old. It's, it's my favorite horror film of all time. So thanks for watching, and take care. Later.